Hello everybody, I am MMFQ Death, and welcome to a video about the Windows 10 Tech Preview. So as you can see, I'm running it in a virtual machine on VMware Workstation. So first I'm going to get into uh, some of the new features later in the video, and uh, first here I'm going to show you guys how to actually get the preview itself. So, uh, first things first, let's go ahead over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the first link in the description below and go sign up for the Windows Insider program. You can just go ahead and hit sign in over here if you already have a Microsoft account. And if you don't, then just create one and you can go ahead and continue. You have to create it and then get started and you can go ahead and sign up for the Windows Insider program. I didn't have to because I was already a developer for the previous version of Windows and Windows 7. Um, so then you will get to this part after you sign up and uh, you have to, as you can see here, you have to sign up for Windows Insider, read the system requirements, click on download, and then it gives you a product key for the version of Windows. Uh, you can get an English 64-bit or 32-bit to check that on your computer, by the way, since a couple of people were asking me. Uh, it's a little bit different on Windows 8 than it was on Windows 7, but on Windows 8, you're gonna go down here and then go into system. And then once you do that, it'll pop up. I don't actually have an iBuy power. It's just the uh, boot media I had to do to restore my operating system on my Alienware. But anyways, uh, you can tell what actual system you have by right here, system type, 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor. Uh, if it has 32-bit or x86, then you are on a 32-bit. And if it is 64-bit or x64, you are on a 64-bit computer. Um, so then depending on what you are and where you live, you can go ahead and choose the very distribution that you need for that computer and then just download that and keep the product key handy. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this on your base computer as a standard operating system until you at least check it out. Since this is still a tech preview and it's brand new and everything, I wouldn't recommend doing it quite yet. Um, so then, I don't know why I just did that in VMware, what you're going to want to do if you have this, uh, there should be tutorials on how to install stuff in VirtualBox and other stuff like that um, out there. But what you're going to want to do if you have VMware Workstation is go ahead and hit New Virtual Machine, go ahead and hit Typical, and then Installer Disk Image. Click Browse and then find the version that you have, which will be right here. Once you go ahead and select it, then you're going to want to hit, um, you know what, actually I'm going to select it just so I can show you guys. Uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and click that and then you can see it could not detect which operating system is in the disk image That's fine. Go ahead and hit next and then select Windows 8 x64 Now whenever you install a tech preview You're gonna want to use the latest version of Windows that the virtual machine has out so that you'll be able to install VMware tools um, So then you're gonna go ahead install it. It installs just like Windows 8. Um, it's actually a little bit faster uh, smaller ins installation anyways um, And I'll show you guys that so you guys have an idea of what you're going to be looking at. Uh, it's about a 50 gigabyte install. Um, I didn't do anything to this. So actually, it's a little bit larger than Windows 8 with Windows 8.1, I think, taking up 35 gigs. So it's a little bit back to near like Windows 7 size. Uh, still a little bit smaller with Windows 7 taking up about 60 gigs on install for Ultimate, anyway. <clears throat> so uh, now we're in the operating system. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple of the new features that come with Windows 10, uh, skipping the generation 9 because Windows has a bad generation every other, so they decided they'd skip the bad one. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the newest installation that everybody's really happy about, obviously being the start menu return. Um, I was actually surprised with how this turned out because I wasn't expecting to like it, uh, considering that I liked it in Windows 7 and everything, but I found Windows 8 to actually be, like, good. Um, like, I, I liked Windows 8.1, uh, but I liked how they incorporated the tiles and still kept the different size variations, being the double tile, uh, quarter tile, and then normal tiles here. Um, another neat thing you can do is by launching the store. Um, now you can see that they're in resizable windows. Uh, obviously, no border. I'm assuming that these things will actually be visible, so they're not just kind of not there. Um, during the full release, at least I would hope so. Uh, hopefully the Explorer icon will be updated because that looks really trashy, at least to me. Uh, but you can see that they're going for a more flat style across everything. Um, I do like the new windows. I like the uh, fact that they are resizable. So 
Uh, apparently you can't change it in height. At least I couldn't. I mean, I can make it bigger, but I can't make it any smaller than right here. So I'm assuming this is just the minimum height you can have, which doesn't really bother me since I'm on a uh, dual monitor setup. But it is cool because I believe that they're still snappable. So there you go. You can still snap things like so. Um, I, I really like the fact that they're windowable. And of course, you can still go full screen like any other app if you do so choose to do that. Um, now, another thing is the ability to have multiple desktops. So actually, let's open this back up. This is probably my favorite feature out of the Windows 10 tech preview so far and probably a big reason on why I will probably end up using this as my uh, standard operating system if I don't find any breaking bugs. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a couple windows here. And uh, as you can see, none of the windows have borders now. Uh, Internet Explorer seemed to crash. Okay, no it didn't. Um, but they don't have any window borders, which I think is a very nice design choice, actually, and neither does Explorer. So there's no borders whatsoever on the windows except for this top one, you know, obviously for your window commands. Um, but I really do like it. Now, let's go ahead and say, oh man, I really forgot to do something. Let's go ahead and open up the task view. Now, as you can see, you have all of your windows here, so you can... It's kind of like the Windows uh, switcher from Windows Vista, if you remember that, in a sense, this part. Um, and I believe that you'll be able to hotkey this, or that it does have a hotkey. If it does, I don't know what it is yet. Maybe Windows key S or something like that. No, that is start menu. Of course it is, because I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyways, you will be able to go to the task view and then say you want to add another desktop. You can go in and do that. And now this desktop is plain, has no windows open. Um, it's, it's honestly great. Like, oh, I forgot something else. Let's go back to this one and grab this. Uh, I don't believe you'll be able to drag and drop things between desktops, but the cool part is I would assume that these desktops, you're going to be able to set multiple desktops for each one of your monitors if you do have a dual monitor setup. Um, I haven't checked it because it's not a primary operating system. You can't do that in VMware. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the new features. I mean, there's really not much to go over other than like tiny things like nothing has a border. Um, I mean, really, there's not much else. There's no charms bar over here anymore. Uh, but it does seem like my mouse turns into, like, some sort of thing here. Oh, is that just a click? Oh, okay, it's because I'm outside of the VM window. Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't really see anything different, and I haven't in the operating system itself yet, other than those couple small features. Everything else seems pretty much the same. You still have OneDrive functionality. Um folder options are still pretty much the same I mean really it's just like a update a at this current stage it's just like an update to Windows 8.1 adding a couple more functionalities like the Windows switcher and uh, that but um, another cool thing is you can open up search and it's like the size of your start menu now but yeah anyways I mean that's really all of the new features in Windows 10 there aren't a ton but they are definitely noticeable and very very handy uh, so if you guys do just go ahead down into uh, the description, and if you want to download it, uh, I will send you a link to, I will put a link for VMware site and to the two pages that you have to go to, to either download it and to sign up for the Windows Insider program. Um, if you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would go down below the video and hit like, uh, which you'll see in the outro anyway. Um, and leave a comment if you guys have any questions. As always, this has been MMFU Death, and thank you all for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you go right down below the video down here and hit the like button or leave a comment. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Facebook, which you guys can find down here and down there. Peace.